hello friends in the previous session we had seen the validation of internal angle bisector theorem and uh, then we also uh, did the proof of the theorem in this case we are going to uh, prove the converse of that theorem right and uh, what does the converse says it says if a line through one vertex of a triangle uh, divides the opposite side in the ratio of the other two sides then the line bisects the angle at the vertex so let's understand the theorem first okay so what it is saying is uh, abc is a triangle so it is shown here abc is a triangle and ad is such that um, it is uh, bisecting so let's understand the theorem first the theorem says that uh, if a line through one vertex of a triangle so let that vertex be a and let that line be ad now ad divides the opposite side in this case the opposite side is bc correct so if ad divides bc in the ratio of other two sides that is ab and ac so what is given that bd upon dc this is what the line is doing the line ad is doing this bd upon dc is equal to ab upon ac this is given okay so uh, you have to prove that angle bad that is this is x and if this is y then you have to prove to prove x is equal to y or ad is angle bisector is ad is angle bisector of angle a now there is a construction here again uh, you can see there is ratios involved in this question isn't it bd by dc ab by ac so hence somehow if we try to use thales theorem what is also called as basic proportionality theorem then there is a scope so we see we sense a scope over there so i have done some construction the construction is i am drawing ae ae is equal to ac right so i produced ba so e is nothing but e lies on ba produced e lies on ba produced fair enough got it so ae this side ae is equal to ac the moment i say that what happens the opposite angle becomes equal isn't it so let's say this angle is z and this angle is z okay now how to go about it so uh, we know that from the given uh, condition bd by dc is equal to now we are going to for the proof so i'm saying bd upon dc is equal to ab upon ac this is given and since since angle ace is equal to angle aec by construction we just did that construction hence all right why is this construction because ae is equal to so you can write ae is equal to ac so hence can i not write that angle Mm, yeah so i can say and it's not angle so i can very well say that instead of ac i can write ae so bd upon dc is equal to ba upon ac or ae because ac was equal to a is equal to ac correct therefore actually there was no need of equating this angle but later on right now it's not needed later on it is going to be lead you know needed in this theorem so this is uh, okay bd by dc so this side this side by that side is equal to this side by that side right so bd by dc is equal to ba by ae so this means by converse of so you can write by converse of bpt so if the ratios are same then what can we say we can say that ad is parallel to ce 
right? By converse of BPT. So if you remember in BPT, there was a triangle and if a line was um, cutting the two sides, then A, let's say this B, this C, this is D and this is E. So in that case, these two were parallel, right? So AD by DB was equal to AE by EC. And converse is also true. That means if this is true, then the line DE is parallel to BC. We have seen that in the previous session. So DE is parallel to BC in this case. So equivalently here, AD will be parallel to CE because the ratios were same. So the moment I say that, what do I get? I will get Y is equal to Z, right? And why is that? Alternate interior angles. And also X is equal to Z, Y corresponding angles corresponding angles right convincing enough so that means this implies if y is z and x is z then clearly y is equal to x y is equal to x therefore ad bisects angle bac right proved so hence if the uh, if a line from vertex divides the opposite side in the ratio of the adjacent sides, right? So BD, BD upon DC is equal to BA upon AC, then AD bisects the angle A. That's what the converse of this theorem says.